Hi, this is David Ferguson with MLC CAD Systems. I'd like to thank the CAD guys for giving their presentation. And what we're going to be doing on the CAM side of things, the master CAM side, is we're going to be taking some of those flat pattern DXF files they were doing in SolidWorks. We're going to import those into master CAM 2024, do some source programming with a laser, and then re-nesting those back in, just to give you an idea of how the, the workflow and the nesting utility works when you really, really are looking to control quantity. So what I've got in front of me is just Mastercam 2024. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop in the first of our DXF files. And uh, I'll just go ahead and do that. And that uh, looks like that's the side. So I'll go ahead and call that the side of the part. We'll do some level organization while we're doing this. Uh, from here on out, I'm just going to do uh, just a merge. And I'm just going to merge in some more file files. So we're going to look for some DXF files here. Um, we'll go for the handle next. And I'll just merge that in. I will bounce it off to a different level here. If I don't do it here, I can always shuffle it around in my level manager. But if I can remember to do that, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just offset those by one. And we'll go ahead and bring that in. And that ends up on level two. That looks pretty good. Or level three, I should say. And we'll go ahead and merge in the third and final of our patterns. And that would be the tray itself. Perfect. And again, we'll just offset that by one. We'll green check. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this as sort of my source file. Now, I, I didn't get quite the level distribution there, so I should have offset that by two. But that's okay. Uh, I've got an extra level here. And I can simply grab one of those um, pieces of wireframe and just move it to the level that I want it to be on. There we go. And that would be the handle. And just doing a quick little label here so I can keep track of this and then I believe that would be the base perfect okay now um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, these on separate levels and I'm only gonna have one level turned on at any given time um, these DXF files are flat to my uh, my top XY plane so that makes programming them uh, relatively straightforward I don't need to do any sort of uh, translations or or moving these around just really need to keep the levels organized so I'm only programming one at a time 